so I'm back and um, I just had to check something because I was a bit curious about the, um, the last dungeon I was in that Iliad ruin there were these uh, frost atronachs in it and it just seemed as if it was from one of my mods which um, I have like three mods I think that adds random treasure in the various dungeons and such and this seemed exactly like um, Wolf's Knight uh, it seemed as if there was supposed to be something there like a treasure or something and so I just had a quick check and yes there was supposed to be something else in the there was supposed to be this really big Atronach in the I'm just gonna drop off a few things uh, there's supposed to be this uh, big Atronach which which gives you a um, well yeah it gives you some it gives you a, 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 a treasure um, but I'm just gonna drop some of these things off. But uh, for some reason, it didn't appear. I I have no idea why. But um, nevertheless, I just made a quick fix so that it should be it should be there now. So I'm going to go back to that. Uh, what's this? Oh, there. Yeah, this is a book I haven't read. Maybe I should read that one. Master something's tale. Um, yeah, so I'll read this and then I'll go back and and see if this uh, creature spawned. It's a it's it's a very strong creature. You're supposed to kill, and anyway, if you do it, then it holds uh, an artifact. I'm gonna read this first. Your hand to hand increased. That's my. Uh, that's a major major skill. I just progressed towards my uh, next level. The Temple of Two Moon stands in Torvel. Finest training ground in all Tamriel for warriors of foot and fist. <laughs> That's a great way of saying it. <laughs> foot and fist. The masters teach students of all ages from all parts of the empire the most ancient techniques and most modern variations and many a former pupil has graduated to, graduated to great fame let me just check how many pages 14 I'm not gonna read all this but I'm keeping it I'm keeping this book this is really cool I love reading these but um, I, 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 I've always been skipping these texts when I'm recording because I sort of kind of don't think it's suited for reading. I don't mind if other YouTubers read, and I have uh, some of my favorite YouTubers who are who who do who are doing um, Oblivion um, Let's Plays. They are very th thorough and they read out everything, and and I don't have anything against it. It just for some reason I don't really feel like it. I don't feel like reading it when I'm recording. I I, I love reading them. But um, just not when I'm recording. There's something up there. There's a torch. Oh, it's moving. It's a guard, probably. There was a guard up there. Those uh, dingoes killed his horse. So, what's my carrying capacity? Hmm. Shield, I got my maze of frost. So I'm 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 going in here and I'm going to see if my little quick fix um, worked so that this uh, Atronach is has spawned. I just moved it a bit in the construction set. It should be... Hopefully it's okay now. Uh, 
So I hope it hasn't changed anything else down here. But actually, the um, since this is an undead dungeon, they could have respawned. Uh, I'm using uh, Mascar's uh, Oblivion Overhaul, which uh, allows for undeads to 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 just uh, uh, resurrect sort of automatically. So on your way back through the dungeon, you might um, you might encounter them. You might even see it while they are turning back to life. Fruit bats. So it should be in here on the right. There's a skeleton. Okay. I'll take care of him. Bone Knight. Flanking him. Better get close to the light. Okay, he got skills. He was a former fighter for sure. Wow. Oh, I got him. Oh, there's another one. I don't want to fight these now. I already fight it. Killed you guys once. I think I can kill that one with one blow. Yeah. Oh, it's hitting for it. It's hitting for a weapon. Yeah, it was one of the weak ones. So, no more please. No more. <laughs> Bone meal. Ah, I don't even care to have it. Okay. Whatever. I'll just, just take that one. So, it should be in here now. This Etronach. Yep. It worked. My lip. Did I open this one? Hmm. So, this is a much bigger version. I don't know if you can see it, but this is a, this is not a normal Etronach. This is a custom made one and it's from this mod, um, what was it called? Uh, Tem Temrealic Law or something like that. It puts various items from, I think from Morrowind and well, definitely for more wind. Maybe also older um, in the in the Elder Scrolls series uh, artifacts, and it, it places them in various dungeons. And I haven't read where they are, so I'll just stumble upon them. And it's it's recently installed, so I haven't even found a single one of these um, artifacts. I just know that because I checked that it's supposed to be in this. Because I, because I saw these um, these Etronax, it just it seems a bit strange. It's an undead dungeon. I knew there was something fishy. Strange frost Etronax. What? What is that? What did it do to me? Draining Hand of Frozen Death Drains a guilty 20 Hand of Frozen Death Drain Speed What's the last one? Weakness to Frost What? That can't be right It weakens Weakens Weakness to Frost 500 42. So if he cast a, a, a frost spell on me now, 
Um, let's just say I'm in trouble. It would deal like five times normal damage. Holy, holy crap. Now it heals itself. By the way, I have a... I use this one, but I have this one. 30% Man Wow, I got it I thought for sure that Well, not for sure, but I thought For a moment that I was not be able to kill it Because it, it was able to heal And I don't deal a lot of damage with this one that is very fortunate. Let me check. Battle X of Cold Ice Blade of the Monarch. This is a normal weapon you can find. Ice Blade of the Monarch. This is the unique weapon. Frost Salts. Oh, I can't take all of this. Um. I'll have to decide then. Well, I don't need... I'm gonna drop this. I'm gonna drop this. Mm. So I'm 20... Mm. <sighs> I'm gonna do this. Frost. 20. Actually. Well, first of all, what am I doing? I have to look at it. It looks really good. It's, um... Is it a two-handed? Yeah, it's a two-handed. <laughs> 25. Oh, look at the charges. 45 out of... This is a, a custom enchantment. It's cheaper than normal. There's... There's a hundred... There's 45 hits in this one. Dealing 25 extra frost damage. That's really good. But actually, I'm not so impressed by the, the enchantments and so on that you put on normally. I mean, it's really cool and all, but I like when there's a, there's a story about it. It's a unique, uh, unique artifact. And this is the only one that is in the game. That makes it special. So it could be, it could be without in any enchantments on it, I will still think it's really really cool because there's only this one version and it probably has like a history some law about, uh, some law uh, you know Ice Blade of the Monarch, I'm sure I have played Morrowind but maybe this is um, maybe someone knows about this, I can read about it it's a bit Hmm. The thing is, I'm I'm trying to work out what should what I should do here because hmm. this this price is making me uh, think what I'm going to do going to do with it because although it's a ancient weapon and unique and all I need gold so maybe I should um, I'm considering selling it actually <laughs> even though I just found it it's too bad it's it's actually too bad it's, it's uh, enchanted because it looks better like this 
when it's not enchanted. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It's a big. It's a big uh, decision because. Um, that's a nice weapon as well. It's worth a lot. Maybe I'll just drop this one. So I'm only. Oh, actually, that was enough to decide for me. I can just eat some bread and not carry that torch. Yeah, I'm gonna drop this Mesa Frost. I've used it, it's okay. So, yeah, this is it. So now, this is what it was supposed to be uh, like, this dungeon. You're supposed to find this in here. Well, actually, it was supposed to be in here, but for some reason it was, um, it didn't appear. But now I got it. I got the, the, what was it called? Ice Blade of the Monarch. It's damaged. I can't repair it myself, because it's a magical weapon. I can only repair non-magical weapon uh, because my armor skill is not uh, 50 yet I'll have to practice this some more and then I'll be able to do it I cannot wait <laughs> I really want it it's sort of yeah it's kind of I'm willing to pay money Wolfrin is, is willing to, to train it just by using um, money on it because um, yeah it's quite quite important you don't want to run out of uh, you don't want to be unable to 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 repair your magical weapon oh well, that's oh I can jump over here maybe slide down here down here perfect so, I'll be heading back to the Imperial City. As uh, with, uh, with a lot of loot. Extremely valuable loot. Now, I really don't know if I should sell that weapon. Yet. Even though I just got it, but it's just... I can uh, I, I can pay for all my training now. If I sell it, it's probably gonna give me like uh, four thousand gold or something like that. And I need seven to get my fifty in destruction. The silhouette of the city, the big city. It looks good with these towers. Yeah. Wolfren he's he, he's feeling a bit of a bit like a, a hero returning. He's just entered and uh, ran all the way through three, well, two forts and one alien ruin. See, this is actually, I don't mind not being able to uh, go through this the dungeon. Like you come across a this cave or something, like or like dungeon, and you find out that the, the, the critters inside are just way too strong for you. I don't mind that. I think I'm getting some extra help from the game because the first levels, I think it's the first five levels, you have, um, well, the, the, the opponents are extra weak. The sort of training wheels that are built in. 
So I want to get past the first five beginner levels as quickly as possible. I want to get to level 10 or something quickly. Because that's where you, I think you'll start seeing more... Well, it's kind of different, difficult to say, but you'll start meeting more interesting enemies and monsters and, and weapons and armor and all that because the world's leveled. But I am using mods so that you don't see silly things like in the normal game where you will have bandits running around with uh, really strong armor even though they're supposed to be bandits. Mass cars, uh, oblivion overhaul takes care of that for me. I can't even jump this little stone rail. Who's this? He's a poor guy. Good morning. Good morning. You have no shoes, sir. And it's raining. These Dwemer Dwarven axes. All of the Dwarven, dwarven weaponry looks good. Looks a bit clunky, especially the the arrows. Well, that's a dead guy. But um, and I don't like the boots. Well, I think about it, but the rest I really like. I used to love the all the uh, uh, the, the the light armor, but recently I've only been using the heavy armor the heavy armor is really good it looks really good something funky about this yeah that's better now it looks normal what are you waiting for? morning actually maybe I should save I've changed how my um, auto save broke uh, yeah, autosave mod works. Now it saves every 10 minutes instead of 5 because I was I was wondering if maybe that was the cause of my my crashes. It's probably not. Because I'm using that mod for a long time. And I see no problem. Maybe it's just because I've used I'm using so many mods. I'm using around 165. Oh, no, yeah, 165 months. Elven Gardens. I suppose cow's milk. Cheese. I should um I should just eight o'clock I should just head to the um, market district and start selling but I still have this problem of my um my tent all my stuff is in my tent so I have to leave the city put up the tent and carry it into town that, okay that's no big problem it's a bit it's just a bit tedious that's okay if this is if this was a real world so now you would have absolutely do it if that was all it took you just have to go a few rounds back and forth there would be no problem because all of the, the amount of money uh, you get from doing it is worth it There's the Lycan Hunter, as I recall, yeah, Lycan Hunter. With his Lycan suit, or whatever it is. And many of the Argonian slaves have returned to their tribes. I've heard Argonia is a strange and... Market district?
Stonewall shields. I haven't even been to that city, uh, that uh, shop yet. Closed. Mm. Yeah, that's right. All the I haven't learned all of the the various shops opening times. Hello um, there. Where I'm going. don't even know where I should be going first because I don't have the stuff that I'm selling right now it's in uh, it's all stuck in the tent I'm keeping these two well maybe I'm I really don't know about this one maybe I'm keeping that one <laughs> so now this is open okay I hope I can help I offer the finest goods and lowest prices in all Cyrodiil. 1200, okay, he's only have 1200. Definitely not selling it. Yeah, I have to visit the... Um, yeah, that's right. I remember now. The reason I have this um, Good day. special shop at the end of the, the market district is because I wanted a shop where I can sell some really expensive artifacts because normally you can only sell up to something like 12, 1600 or something like that but um, if you have these salesmen with a lot of gold available then you can, um, yes. you can, you can sell hey this is the guy from Hamad Raha good day I offer the finest goods ah, yeah. and lowest prices in all This is Cyrodiil. a very cool mod I found. He's selling all of these magical items. And they're just plain looking items like this, like a scythe and a feather and a jug and just clutter things. But um, they have some really unique cool effects. If you buy them, and the way it was described in the mod, it was just so perfectly described, it was like super well described. I wish I could write like that. Yeah, it's called uh, Ra Rahash, well, whatever his name is, Raha something. Oh, here it is, Raha's uh, Arcane Clutter, I think that's the mod's name. And then um, uh, this is this is actually the one I'm considering buying Jonathan's feather uh, this one is special it gives it gives Beautiful. three things it gives you speed increased speed it gives you a uh, feather so you can carry more that that's the main reason I wanted it and it gives you uh, some uh, free free fall uh, ability something if you tr if you jump down from high heights you won't uh, you won't take any damage you'll just slow fall down morning so that that sounds really good uh, it's a bit pricey though two and a half thousand uh, I have cannot afford it but oh I have to pay for well met training. good that you want to get better only quality goods for sale here hmm. what can I interest you in um I well, wanted to s find the Smith yes tier let me take okay. a look at what you've <gasps> no it can't be true oh no this is the worst that could happen. Be seeing you. Take care. I can't repair it. Hello there. I can't even. I can't even afford to repair it. It's so badly beaten out of shape that it has to. I have to pay a fortune. 
Ah, this is so unfortunate. Wow, this is unfortunate. It is so badly damaged that it, do, it deals less damage than my um, my battle axe of cold. Well, it maybe it doesn't because I have the extra frost damage, so it might actually. Well, it's probably stronger this one. Hmm. I hear they're always looking for recruits. I've heard others say the same. Huh. Have you heard any word about the other provinces? Oh. Nothing I'd like to Soul gems. Yeah, Good that's fun. another mod I just installed, so they're different colors. Well met. Various. Recharge. A magic item without a charge is... Training. Knowledge is power. Cost me 530. I can train three times. Hmm. Okay, I will have to um, well met. Hello. let me do this in the correct order. I will go out of this city and I will... Wow. Pretty lady. Um, I will uh, I will pick up my, my stuff that I'm selling. Same here. I like that it's mixed that um, some of the, the the characters have names, surnames and everything, and then others have just um, like a profession. So these are, well these don't have profession, but so, some of them have professions. Well these are just have names, okay. But like the Lycan Hunter or so, something like that, where you can see what the profession is. Camping. So I have to find a place where I can. It's grayed out. I can see, so I can't cast it here. So I have to find a place where it's. I think I have to go far away from the city uh, before it counts as a wilderness. I can cast it here. This is far enough from the city. Perfect. I'll cast it here. The location is unsuitable. Okay, how about this? Unsuitable. Here? Unsuitable. Okay, how about here? I don't think so. Ah, actually, <laughs> that worked. It's a bit uh, <laughs> irregular. I'm gonna drop off this one, this one. Actually, I'm just gonna drop a lot of things off. All the heavy stuff. Um. Selling those, selling this one. All those, selling that one. Marauder. Oh, this. Wow. Oh, I'm doing too much. No, actually, I'm not doing too much, maybe, because I can put it in my cell. Cell sack. That's okay when I'm just... Oh, I have all this also. Completely forgotten about this. Let me just put it all in here. So that it weighs less. Mm. I think this is perfectly fine to do. It's I don't feel like this is a like a cheat thing because this just saves time. That's that's pretty much it. This just saves me for a lot of time going back and forth. I would do it if it took ten times because I need. You know, it's the only way I can get. I can sell it. So this is just a time-saving method. Oh, 
Oh, now I'm having too much. Okay. Have to drop a bit of it. Let me drop that one off. Yep. Let me put some clothes on. So I can be decent. So I think I'll just um, I'll save I'll save here uh, because it's been more than half an hour and I try to keep the chapters around half an hour so yeah I'll just save here